my super sweet crafty friends, welcome to my channel, Carolina's Creations Handmade. Today I want to share with you this super stinking adorable waterfall folio and this is an interactive one so you don't want to miss it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you click the subscribe button and the bell button down below. So this one is going to be perfect for crafters if you're doing crafters or to gift away or to keep for memory keeping if you have children or if you dress up for Halloween. So I think this is going to be super cool. And I think also this is going to be the closest I'm going to be to dressing up for Halloween this year. So I kind of like dressed up my witchy hands. <laughs> Let's share it. my super stinking cute waterfall folio. And you can see here I use a holographic cardstock. This is almost like a poster board. This one I got on Amazon and I'm going to link it down in the description below in case you want to get it. It's super cool. It's not the uh, typical holographic. I love it and what I love the most is how heavyweight it is. It's super, super nice. I didn't have to use anything to back it. It's almost poster board like. So the only thing I did for my cover was cut it and score it and that's it. And you can see what I love about this a uh, holographic one is that it looks like it has flames if you move it some way like here right now you can see it looks like it's flaming or something <laughs> and I just love that it changes color I really really love that I use a C6 die that has this little witch uh, legs and also this little icons here this is like for a thumb I think and then it has here the little bat and for this boo here, I actually use an um, alphabet die from Tim Holtz. And then I just got this little piece here and placed the letters uh, up at the top. So it would say boo. And um, I added here some stickers. These actually are not stickers. These are ephemera from the Spellcast collection from Pink Paisley. And I just love, love, love this collection. I couldn't wait to do something with it. I think it's adorable. And I used more of it inside. But, um, so I used this die and I wanted to make it so I could use the legs so, like, the witch fell on the, uh, cauldron. But I didn't have any die that would have a cauldron big enough so it would look more realistic. <laughs> Even though it's not real at all. But you know what I mean. It's more proportionate. So, what I did is I doodled my own cauldron and I cut it so I could make it into a shaker so I could place the legs in here and make it so it looks like she is inside of the cauldron and this is actually a shaker shaker and I just love 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 how it turned out you can see here my uh, cauldron template and what I did is I used a circle die just to trace this area here and then I kind of like doodle the legs and then I doodle this area here so it looked more like a cauldron and I didn't want to have this uh, be perfect because I think I, the way I envisioned this is like you know it's hand beaten handmade so it's not perfect um, and I think it turned out so so cool it's not even on the side it's kind of like slanted to the side a little bit and to me it was perfection so I cut in here and what I did is I um, made my template and then I uh, cut this area here and then I traced it on cardstock and then I glued the two pieces together. I cut them and glued them together so it's sturdier. And this is going to be my template to cut everything else. And I used this to trace the fun foam that I used to make my shaker here and it was a breeze using my template. So you can see you really don't need to have any special tools to make your own projects. Just use your imagination and kind of doodle. Play like a kid and you'll have your projects come perfect without any special tools. You can even do your legs and everything super easy. And I used some beads here from Hobby Lobby that I think went perfect here. And for the back, the blue back area here on the cauldron, I used some holographic paper from Dollar Tree. And I think it was perfection. I used the sticker here that says Happy Halloween. And this one is from this Spellcast collection here. And then I used uh, another ephemera piece here and it says all I see is magic. <laughs> and what else you see in Halloween? Magic. <laughs> 
I know some people don't like Halloween. I don't really celebrate witches or anything like that. It's not about it. It's just having fun. <laughs> just dressing up and being spooky and all that. So um, I use here a dye from Quick Cuts to make the little um, broom for the witch. And I place it in there so it was this was not just floating around. Kind of like grounded it a little bit. And I think this turned out so super adorable. And you can see here it has a little tab in here and it has also this tassel here. And I, I use glitter paper throughout. I use a black glitter paper and then the hot pink one. And then I use this to match my little tassel in here as you can see there. So let's open this up. And this is the inside of it. Doesn't it look super stinking adorable? I think this is so stinking cute. I added here this journaling card. And this is from uh, Tuesday morning. I bought it at Tuesday morning. I don't remember exactly who is it from. I may put it down in the description below later. So what I did is I created a belly band using a Martha Stewart punch. And I used some more of that black cardstock, glitter cardstock to make it. And you can see there how amazing it looks. So I placed that journaling card on top of it because I wanted to make this kind of like a decoration from this page area. And then you can also use it as a pocket. So this I made kind of like a mat here and you can use it for journaling on, on the back and place a picture or you can just place a picture and journal on the back only. So you can do so many things with this. And then I wanted to give it space. If you see my videos, I'm always looking for space to have more pictures and things. So I added a pocket over there that you can use for pictures or certain mementos or anything that you want. And then over here is another pocket that is slightly bigger and you can uh, store some more things in here. What I plan to do for here is kind of like make a little booklet for more pictures that you can place in here and you can make even a smaller one to place inside in this pocket and then you can make another one to even place it in here. That way you'll have plenty of more places for pictures. And look at how super stinking cute that looks. Look at all the glitter and shimmer. If you know me, if you've seen my videos, if you follow me for a while, you know that I love glitter. I love uh, anything like shiny and shimmery. So I love using glitter paper. And over here on this side, I created pen pages here for pictures. And this actually, the front ones, I use Polaro a Polaroid die. And then I backed the Polaroid die with acetate, as you can see there. And then I added here some um, ephemera from the Spellcast collection, some of the stickers. And then what I love about this, you can place your picture. This one is top loading, but not all of them are top loading. I'm going to show you why. So you open this up and you can see the front pages all have Polaroid frames. The back page is done. The reason was because I wanted to have an area that I could either journal or I could place a bigger picture in here. And then over here, this one is also a top loading pocket. And I use more ephemera here. And I use the ephemera at the bottom. I um, actually raised it with fun foam to give it more dimension. But look at what this is for. This is not just decorative. Look at this. Oh my goodness, guys! I love how this turned out! This is interactive and you can see there how super stinking adorable it is. And then at the bottom, you have the bottom page here. And then I added a sticker here from the uh, sticker sheet also to decorate it. And it says October 31st, Halloween. Look at how stinking cute this is. And then only the two first pages are top loading. The other ones are side loading. So you slide your pictures on from the side. The reason I did this is because it's more difficult to kind of like play with these pages because they're closer together than the first couple so you can see the page. The way I'm holding it, it's more difficult. So some of them just kind of like come together, but it's not, uh, it's so amazing. Look at that guys. Look at how super stinking cool. I really, really love this. And I love how amazing it is. You could do the waterfall the uh, way it's usually done. You don't have to do the mechanism here. You just have it so you can flip it open with your hands, but I just totally, totally love this. And I totally love that it's sort of like unexpected. And you can see here, look at the pages again. 
Isn't that so stinking cute? So super, super, super amazing. Awesome! I love, love, love how this turned out. I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys so you know how to make it. And you can make them for your craft first. You can actually decorate this any way you want for any theme. You can use Easter theme. You can use Halloween. You can use Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine's. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Love, love, love it. I hope you guys love it too. Let me know down on the comments area below how you like it. And then over here, I added a ephemera from the... Actually, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet here. And it looks sort of like a book that you would put on the library. So you can see here what it is. I love, love, love how this turned out. Let me know down below, guys. How do you like this? I will do a tutorial for it pretty soon. And I'm going to also share with you some hauls from some items that I've been purchasing that I think you're going to love. I have so more to share with you from Hobby Lobby, so you don't want to miss that. And again, look at that. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Thank you so much for all your love. I so appreciate you guys. You're so sweet. I can't tell you how much all your messages and the love that you share with me means to me. You always make my day, and I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back here soon for my next video. Love you and stay safe. Bye-bye.